everyone, Victoria here from VixieFit.com. So today I want to talk with you. If you are a mama getting ready to have your baby be a C-section, I want to offer you an exercise to help that core feeling strong and your pelvic floor feeling strong and also um, a little bit of a relaxation tip to help you feel at ease for your upcoming C-section, okay? so. One of the best ways that we can strengthen our core and our pelvic floor during pregnancy and postpartum is learning how to work those deepest core muscles and they work with our breath, all right? Hence the, the term core breathing, okay? So before you do this, you can practice this standing, you can practice it when you're sitting. There are a few things that I want you to think about in terms of how your body is set up before you practice your breathing, all right? So the more optimally our body is set up, the more, the better we can engage these core muscles, okay? So if you are doing this core breathing technique, you're going to want to, if you're doing it sitting, you're going to want to sit on the edge of your chair, okay? So that you're not sitting back on your tailbone, so tailbone untucked, Ribs are down over your hips, so you're not flaring up at your rib cage. You're not sitting so far back into your rib cage either, okay? Ribs are stacked nicely over your pelvis. Shoulders are down and back slightly, not pulling them tightly back, just shoulders down and back slightly, okay? Same idea applies if you're standing. So if you're standing, we want that tailbone untucked. So you're not clenching your glutes. You're not tucking the tailbone underneath. So just keep that nice natural curve in your lumbar spine, ribs over your hips, stand tall, shoulders slightly down and back, okay? So I'm gonna practice this with you while I'm sitting. So you're gonna take one hand on your rib cage, <clears throat> one hand on your lower belly. When you inhale, I want you to breathe through your nose, okay? Shoulders and chest, stay quiet. Okay, air goes down into your rib cage. We expand our rib cage with air. Belly gently rises. Pelvic floor comes down and relaxes, okay? So again, this stays quiet. I inhale through my nose. Feel that air expanding my rib cage out and expanding my belly out slightly. Then I exhale, okay? Breathe all of that air out through my mouth. Let my rib cage come in again. Feel the space between my hip bones come together. So we're activating that, those transverse abs. And then I'm going to pull my pelvic floor up or contract my pelvic floor on my exhale breath, okay? So it looks like this. So I inhale, exhale, one more time. So hopefully you saw my belly expanding and falling back in with each breath. So you're going to want to start practicing your core breathing a couple of times a day. Once you get the hang of it, start aiming for a few sets of 10 breaths per day, okay? This will help strengthen those deep core muscles that we're looking to keep strong, okay? So that they support our spine and our pelvis. Now, if we keep them strong with this core breathing leading up to our C-section, those muscles will be that much stronger after our C-section when we start to rehab the core of the pelvic floor. And yes, you're going to want to do some kind of rehab program for your core and your pelvic floor um, after you've had your C-section, all right? Next thing I want you to keep in mind if you're not already doing is practice just some gentle massage on your belly, okay? So it doesn't have to be anything fancy, just some gentle massage work on your belly because us women have a tendency to store a lot of stress in our bellies and our pelvic floor. And when we have stress there, everything gets a little bit tighter more than it should be. And when these muscles are too tight, they cannot, um, they can't fire or contract as well as we need them to to support the spine and the pelvis, all right? 
So just practice some gentle belly massage. You can use um, whatever sort of lotion or oil that you like. And just do it a few minutes a day to really start practicing relaxing these muscles and it'll also make baby or babies feel good too, all right? So there you have it. If you have any questions, please, please, please feel free to contact me, reach out to me. I will be more than happy to help you and I wish you luck on your upcoming C-section and know I am in your corner. And that's it. So until then, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.